It's early morning. You and your siblings leave the safety of your village to go look for mushrooms to sell at the general store. Out here on the green pastures of Hyrule, it's easy to forget all the terrible things that has happened. You run through the fields and your worry suddenly melts away. Everything's just so peaceful. But then, the ground starts to shake from under your feet. You look around wordily, trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And then you see it. A giant embodiment of rocks climbing together, becoming one massive monster. You watch in horror as your siblings are suddenly crushed from the thing. Knowing that your end is soon near, you look out at Hyrule one last time. You close your eyes and never open them again. Hey guys, Mass Penguin. Before we get in on the video, there is something I'd like to say. My copy of Age of Calamity just came in today and I am super excited to play it. When I'm done playing it through and thinking about it good, I'll be sure to make plenty of content regarding it. Alright, so odds are, if you've played Breath of the Wild, you've probably run into a stone talus, which is an overworld boss you'll find in Breath of the Wild. The thing about Zelda enemies is that you don't question them. They can be completely insane, and you just have to write it off as normal and don't question it. But of course, I'm going to do it anyway, because something just seems so off about the stone talus. So let's take a closer look at what the stone talus might be. There are two things that make a stone talus stand out to me. One is that they have the ability to manipulate rocks around them, and the other is their weak point. We can assume that a majority of the talus's body is just rocks that happen to be nearby, and the reason we can assume this is because the talus is able to throw its rock arms at you and well, in real life, you can't really throw arms. I mean, I know it's a made-up character, but still. And one thing to point out is that their weak point resembles ore. One other thing to note is that the Guardian will attack a stone talus. So pretty much, it's an enemy. But what separates this enemy from all the other enemies in the big, fast world of Hyrule? Well, remember what I said about the stone talus's weak point being ore? Well, there are some times where the ore resembles luminous stone. And according to the luminous stone's in-game description, luminous stones house the souls of the dead. Could the stone taluses be deceased Hylians? Now, you guys may think I'm insane and think that there's no way that a Hylian can be this rock guy, but if you think about it closely, the pieces start to fall into place. The stone taluses are hostile towards Link because, well, if you haven't noticed, their weak point is ore. Hylians mine ore, so when they're attacking Link, it's more of like a defensive impulse. And this also explains why Guardians will attack Stone Taluses, because the Guardians recognize the Stone Taluses as deceased Hylians. This will also explain why the Stone Taluses don't attack the nature around them. Now, you may argue that this can't be the case because there are stone pebblets that are confirmed to be younger Stone Taluses, and Stone Pebblets don't have ore. Think of it like this. Stone taluses have already been confirmed to be able to move the rock around them. And it's pretty much confirmed by the old man who, spoiler, is the dead king. And yet, even though he's dead, he can still interact with the physical world. So let's say the stone talus is like a hive mine built out of stone pebblets. The stone pebblets are controlled by the deceased person and they come together to make a stone talus. Maybe the reason the stone pebblets self-destruct whenever Link touches them or holds them 
is because the stone tells realizes that the pebblet cannot move, therefore it isn't useful to the Taos. So the stone Taos kind of hits a self-destruct button on the pebblet. But it's kind of dark when you think about it because you, the player, are destroying this person's soul for your own greed and means of survival. Hey guys, I'm sorry if this video seemed kind of bland. I've been having a writer's block recently, but I wanted to release something today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, what do you think? Are the stone tosses deceased Hylians, or is it just rocks piled on rocks piled on rocks? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Have an amazing day.